I hate mornings. Every morning is like being reborn, not in a Californian new agey good way. I mean, in a rude awakening, slap on the bum, scream your head off really bad way. Why do all alarm clocks have to sound like nuclear war sirens? Do you remember what getting up was like as a child? Oh, it was great, unless it was a school day. I'd leap out of bed hours before I had to. I couldn't stand anyone sleeping. There was a whole day to be lived, a whole new exciting day. We were all like that, weren't we? I wonder what happens to us. Oh, I know who that is. Hi, Mum. Asha, did I wake you? No. What are you doing? Nothing. Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? Shouldn't you be realising I grew up and left home years ago? Are you premenstrual? No. Then why are you already so angry at five in the morning? It's seven. And have you said your prayers? Mum. I'm up at five every morning doing puja. Great. It might make you more humble to believe in God. <sighs> and less sarcastic. What about hypocritical? I didn't call to argue. No? I have good news. I can't wait to hear it. I've arranged a date. Are you sure you're ready? You've only been single for 20 years. For you! In India? Wembley. Well, you can unarrange it. Come on, sweetie. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. I'm quite capable of finding a man on my own. He's a doctor. I'm not sick. And he's just split up with his girlfriend, so he's not gay. Well, maybe I am. Oh, don't talk nonsense, darling. You're meeting at Ashok's Palace on the High Street at 8 o'clock tomorrow. I'm not meeting anyone. Oh, come on, sweetie. It'll make me look very bad to cancel. And how do you think it makes me look, having her mum arrange a date in Wembley? Come on, baby. His name is Raj, and apparently... He's drop-dead gorgeous. Well, that's good, because you'd have to kill me first. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Aren't you a little curious, darling? <sighs> I think I'd be more curious to find out what it's like to be suspended headfirst from a bridge dripping with blood over a sea of sharks than to sit in a golden fish tank flocked wallpaper at empty fake palace in the land of Wembley, being ogled by hundreds of board waiters opposite another saddo like me over a dried-up excuse for a lamb biryani. <gasps> You're still eating meat? I buy cows off the motorway! I was going to tell you about my darling mother, but obviously I don't need to now. Oh, she's such a hypocrite. I don't know what's happened to her since she went back to India. She left her husband and raised me and my brother all on her own. Hasn't spoken to the family for the last 30 years because she defied them by marrying a Muslim. And now look what she's trying to do. I can't believe it. <laughs> he sounds gorgeous. You should meet him. No way. I mean, Asha is a liberated modern woman, Neek. She doesn't need archaic mothers organising her love life. Oh, I wish my mum would turn archaic. Uh, you've already got a boyfriend, remember? But this is so exciting. Sad. There's got to be something wrong with the guy to agree to this. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Well, you know what I mean. Maybe his heart's been broken by Western values <laughs> and he's decided to turn to tradition for true lasting love. Uh, who invited Jane Austen to the table? <laughs> I'm serious. Seriously insane. <laughs> Look at the statistics. You mean burning brides and child marriages? Arranged marriages last longer. Because they're trapped. Because they fall in love with the real person. Because they've got no expectations. I'd like to try it. Oh, and Dave won't mind. While well, you go off to live a traditional life for a few years, <sighs> come back when you've had enough. Dave's boring. We're stuck in a rut. So you want your parents to arrange a marriage with a complete stranger to help you out? I think it's exciting and romantic and I wouldn't mind giving it a go. Well, you go then. No way. Why not? Well, this guy might be a complete saddo, but it's not fair to mess him around. You're never going to leave, Dave. You're just temporarily bored. Maybe I haven't found true love. Maybe my parents didn't give me the chance. <laughs> Maybe you're just greedy. If I don't try, I'll never know. Heaven forbid there should be an experience you miss out on. Good. I'm not liking this. You're not liking anything. Where am I meeting him? You have to pretend to be me. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I wish I was more like Neek. She scares me sometimes, but she grabs life by the balls and holds on tight. They say opposites attract. I guess that's why we're such good friends. Whose idea was it to meet here? Whose do you think? She really is out of touch. The owner's probably her cousin's uncle or something. They're both late. What if he doesn't show up? That would be funny. It would be a relief. Not for Neek. I think she's in love already. She's just bored. I still don't think it's fair on the poor guy. Well, it's better than being stood up. Shh, here she is. Um, pretend you don't know her. Look at the menu. He's not here yet. Where is he? 
he? You're not supposed to know us. He's not here yet, Lisa, in case you hadn't noticed. He's late. <laughs> you were late. That's different. Oh, you might as well join us. He probably won't turn up. No way. He's definitely coming. I can feel it. I'm going to sit over there. Remember, you don't know me. Whatever happens... Do you want some sort of signal in case you want saving? Honey, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> she looks stunning as usual. The poor guy's going to be smitten. As long as I don't have to deal with him, that's all I care about. If that's him, I'm Asha. Tell him I'm an albino Indian. <laughs> Looks on everything. They are now. Oh, stop dribbling, you'll notice. I don't care. What's happened to you? Draw over the menu like you normally do. I've lost my appetite. Oh, for God's sake, Lisa. Look at me, you're going to get locked neck. What? Asha. Yes? Sorry I'm late. I was in surgery. Yes. You're gorgeous. Um, your mum told me you're a solicitor. Yes. What field? Sorry? What sort of solicitor are you? Um, peoples. I, I'm a people's solicitor. <laughs> We're an Indian family's dream come true. <laughs> All problems solved on one doorstep. <laughs> are you hungry? Starving. Great, me too. What is she doing? She's practically dribbling. He's going to think I'm demented. Do you think your mum would adopt me? I mean, he's probably the most boring man on earth. Good-looking men are always boring. Mm, I'd never get bored staring at him. I'm getting bored staring at the back of your head. Will you please turn round? Oh, can't we swap places? No! Shh! I can't trust you anymore. I have to know what's going on because it's supposed to be me there, remember? Aren't you sorry now? I'm sorry I'm sitting with a lovesick puppy who's lost all capacity for cohesive thought. Are you sure you're not gay? My mum should adopt you. You get on better with her than I do. Do you think if I went on a sunbed, I could pass as Asian? You hate sunbeds. Your skin burns at the thought of even lying on the beach. You get freckles that you dislike, even though I think they're cute. You have blonde hair, your name is Lisa, and you were an intelligent, independent woman who was on my side until five minutes ago. Right. I'm going to the toilet, and when I return, I would like to have dinner with my highly entertaining, witty, clever friend who usually has a brain. So, could you ask her to come back, please? And when she comes back, can you get the waiter to stop staring at Raj and bring us some food? After my dad died, it changed my perspective on things. I'm so sorry. That's why I agreed to this. I thought someone with the same background might understand. Does that make sense? Definitely. Why did you come? You definitely don't need blind dates. Thanks. Am I your first? You will be. We'll make the perfect team. <laughs> you can defend me in court when my knife slips in surgery and hits the jugular. I'll be your Porsche. Will you dress up as a man? If you want me to. I can see you as a turbaned prince. In a Bollywood film. Dancing through the courtroom. With the judge behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there is something wrong with me? Why do I always look at the negative? I see a gorgeous guy and I immediately think, weirdo. But you know what? When I walked past Raj just now, I felt something. Like an energy or something. I can't quite explain it. He looked up, so maybe he felt it too. Do you think I made a mistake not coming? It's late. Let's go. No way. Look, I'm tired. We've got work tomorrow, remember? She's feeding him coffee. Boring. You like him? I don't know him. Go over there and tell him who you are. And he'll think I'm crazy like you. Tell him now before it's too late. It's already too late. Before she lures him into her bed. He's not going to be interested in me. Look at them. He'd be horrified if he learned the truth. Yes, and I'll look like a saint. You should have gone on the date. Thanks. You're going to spend the rest of your life wondering why you didn't. Shall I kill myself now, or do you want to do it? If you don't sort it out now, you'll never forgive yourself. I'll never forgive myself for coming out with you. Are you premenstrual? <gasps> you really are like my mum. Maybe she's not as bad as you make out, then. I can't believe you said that. Keep your voice down. He's looking. Look, he doesn't know who I am. It doesn't matter if he looks. Shh, look. He's paying. Bring out the band. Do something now. No. If you don't, I will. Don't you dare. They're standing up. You should go on Mastermind. They're leaving. Do something. Waiter, Bill, please. She's linked arms with him. Should we follow them home? 
Yes. Pay quickly. Look, I was being sarcastic. A waiter! We should. If you try, I will forcibly hold you down. A waiter! Look, even he's swooning at the window over Raj. The whole world has gone crazy. You know what? What? You're no fun anymore. Do you think Lisa's right? Am I too hard on my mum? Maybe I'm the one with the problem. Speak of the devil. It's one in the morning. Why aren't you asleep? I was waiting for your call. How did it go? Is he drop dead gorgeous or what? He's all right. All right. Is that all the thanks I get? Mum, it's late and I'm tired. I've got to work in seven hours. Did you like him? He seemed very nice. Nice? What more do you want? Did he kiss you? Mum? What's the matter with you? Girls are supposed to tell each other everything. You're not a girl. You're my mother. You think I was never in love? Are you? When I first saw your father, I felt my heart jump. You never told me that before. There's a lot I haven't told you. Night-night, then. It's morning here. I'm just about to say my prayers. I will pray for you, my sweetheart. Thanks. Mom, I need to sleep. It's Niki, with you. What did I do wrong in my last life? Wasn't he amazing? It's 2 a.m. Could you wait till a decent hour, like four, to ring me? Did he call? Who? Raj! Oh, doesn't he need to sleep either? He didn't ring. Oh, why on earth will he call me? His mum would have given him your number, wouldn't she? Oh, great. Well, I thought it would look odd if he got a different one from me. As opposed to the total normality we have now. If he calls, please pretend to be me. You mean pretend to be you pretending to be me? Please, I really like him. I thought I was out of this. I'll tell him the truth next time I see him, I promise. I'm thinking of getting disconnected. Wait till he calls. <laughs> I'm late for work. Shame. I was hoping to lure you into the day slowly. You're not my mum. I hope not. Oh, she's normally the only one who phones me before daylight. Mums do that. Oh, don't they? I bet our mothers have been feeding the National Grid of India since last night. It's you. Well, I'm glad I wasn't your only date yesterday. I wish. What? Uh, that, that I could have more than one. <laughs> I'm lucky to get one a year, let alone two in a night. Really? I'm amazed. Oh, shut up, Bosha. Sorry? I was talking to the cat. I thought you were allergic. To what? Cats. Yeah, I am. To real ones. This is my toy cat, Arnold. <laughs> you still talk to your toys? <laughs> I live alone. That's sweet. Is it? Yeah. Look, I really am going to be late. Can we meet tonight? Yeah. Great. Where? Uh, you choose. Cappuccino, please. <sighs> Double espresso. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept for two nights. You're exhausted. At least you don't feel like the telephone exchange for all the time zones in the universe. Did he call? You're meeting him tonight. Eight o'clock outside the Hippodrome. I can't. I'm meeting Dave. You could have told me. I didn't know you'd arrange something so soon. You said you liked him. I do, but I can't blow Dave out. We're going to the theatre. Well, you have to make something up or it's going to look odd. What do you care? I'm involved by proxy, aren't I? Tell him you're sick. He's a doctor, for God's sake. You had to work. He'll respect that. What do I do? You're a solicitor? I know I am, but what do I do pretending to be you, pretending to be me do? He already knew from his mum, didn't he? Oh, this is getting really complicated. You're going to have to keep a list. Tell him you're working and rearrange it for tomorrow. Well, you phone him, then there'll be one less pretend. What's his number? I haven't got it. Wait, now what do Thanks. we do? We? I can't get it, can I? Right, I'll call my mum when I get back to the office and get his number. You might as well call him then, save you calling me. You better sort this out when you see him, because I'm not spending the rest of my life pretending to be you, pretending to be me, pretending to be myself. I'll make it up to you. Please don't. Come on, mum, pick up. What are you doing out of this time? Knock, knock. Is that called work or fun? I haven't had time for work, Lise. I'm still trying to get mum. 
Well, what if you don't? I mean, it's midnight in India. Where the hell is she? She gets up at four in the morning. She should be in bed by ten. If she's not back in an hour, you won't have time to warn him. Then what are you going to do? I'll have to go and meet him, pretending to be someone else, telling him that the person pretending to be me can't come because she's got a date with her boring boyfriend who she's been living with for the past eight years and conveniently forgot to mention. I should go. I can be myself. Spend the evening with him, wiping Neek out of his mind until he realises it's me he loves and we run away together and get married. Don't you dare. I knew you liked him. Look, it's complicated enough and I don't trust you. Neek likes him a lot. But it's not fair. She's already got a boyfriend. She saw him first. None of us would have met him if it wasn't for her. Oh, there he is. Keep calm. You are pretty. That's my name, by the way, to cover up this whole mess. Deep breath. Here goes. Ready for your first acting role? Raj? I'm pretty. You are? I'm a friend of Asha's. Uh, something came up and she couldn't make it tonight. She didn't have your number. Is she okay? Is there anything I can do? No, she's fine. It's just work stuff. Mm, I know the feeling. She said to tell you she's very sorry, and could you see her tomorrow? It was sweet of you to come. I wasn't doing anything. Have we met? No, I don't think so. You look familiar. Maybe in a past life. Do you believe in that? Sometimes. Usually as the only logical explanation for things going wrong. <laughs> Our religion's handy for those times. Oh, great on tragedy. You know, Gandhi once said that when God invented karma, he could retire. Nice one, God. When can we retire? We can't. <laughs> what would he do for entertainment now that he hasn't got any work? Well, we could trick him and be really good. Ah, but karma works in mysterious ways. It certainly does. I was going to surprise uh, Asha with the theatre. That's a good step to retirement. Maybe taking you would be a double bonus. I don't know, it's... Uh... Hey, come on. Are you going to make me live a whole extra lifetime for the sake of one play? <laughs> it could be a good lifetime. What if it's the worst? Then I'd have to make up for it with a million more. I think you'd be doing both of us a huge favour. If I say no, I'll probably be struck down by lightning on the way home. And I'll be run over by a bus. Guess I'd better come then. Just in case. Asha, are you there? Asha, where are you? Did you get hold of Raj? Message deleted. A Asha, are you there? Asha, where are you? I spoke to Raj's mum. She's so happy. You didn't tell me it went so well. I'm coming to London. We're organising a feast. I've booked the priest for a blessing. I'm so excited. Why didn't you tell me, you naughty girl? Message deleted. Asha, where the hell are you? Call me the minute you hear this. I've got to know what happened. Am I seeing Raj tomorrow night? Message deleted. End of messages. Help! Asha, it's Raj. Are you still working? Your friend Preeti explained. She's really sweet, isn't she? Sweet? I realise you haven't got my number. Call me and we'll arrange tomorrow. It's, um... Hi! You're there? <sighs> Screening. I'm glad I passed. I'm just so tired after work. Do you want me to come over and soothe your aching muscles? Purely in my professional capacity, I mean. My mum's excited. Oh, God, mine too. They're arranging a feast. Don't you think it's a bit soon? Do you? We've only met once. It just feels like a bit of a fuss. Over nothing? It's nice to take things slowly. Mm, to make sure? Once bitten. What should we do tomorrow? A walk by the river? <laughs> You're a cheap date. <laughs> Depends what follows. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm not answering the phone anymore. Phones are trouble. I'm just going to soak in my heavenly elixir with my floating candles, cocoa and chocolates as if I haven't a care in the world. Maybe I should become a Buddhist nun. My mum's a Hindu, but I think she'd be OK with that. Then the whole world would leave me alone. Knock, knock. Hi, Lisa. You're in love. I'm not in love. 
I have been meditating. In love. I love all mankind equally. And those called Raj more equally than others? Mock all you like. I have found peace. It was that good last night, was it? He's a nice man. You mean he didn't stay the night? I'm not stealing another woman's man. Even if the other woman already has a man of her own and has stolen your identity? Especially not then. You're mad. I have honour. I hope you're rewarded in the next life because you're going to be miserable in this one. Do you think I could be happy if I seduced Raj and lost my best friend in the process? It would be worth it. No, it wouldn't. Not even a little. You're thinking about it. No, it would be hell. So, tell me what happened. Every little tiny detail. I don't do detail. You're not a real woman. We saw a play, then had dinner. We had a nice time. He belongs to me. End of detail. Did he kiss you? Of course not. He's an honourable man. I told you. You're in love. Right. You're meeting him in Waterloo. I'm Preeti. Your mothers have organised a feast to celebrate your engagement. Hold on. Everything is wrong with all that. Except you being pretty. Pretty is the name I made up when I met Raj. You met Raj? Oh, that's a long story. David works in Waterloo. Oh, damn, I forgot. Oh, sorry. And your mum might just notice when I turn up as you to a family feast. You've got to stop it. I tried to put him off the idea, but he thought I didn't like him. Why does he care if you like him? Me as you. When did you do that? When he called last night. This is going to give me grey hairs and wrinkles before my time. Well, not if you meditate. I haven't got time to meditate. You have to rearrange everything. No. Please, Asha. Look, you are going to meet Raj tonight and sort this mess out. You promised. Oh. You promised. He'll hate me. He'll hate you even more if you keep this up and he finds out. If you tell him now, he might find it amusing. Can't we arrange to meet somewhere else? I haven't got his number. Asha! Oh, sorry, I forgot. Wish me luck. Look, just breathe deeply. I think I'm a perv. And he'd be wrong how? Thanks. Asha? <gasps> Sorry, are you OK? Fine. Should we go? Where are we going? Anywhere. The river. What's the hurry? Is it closing? I need air. Are you sure you're not ill? I've been cooped up all day. I need to breathe. Now, I've booked your favourite priest and I've ordered the food from Ashok's palace. I thought it would bring us luck since you met there. It has an auspicious energy. I don't have a favourite priest. Of course you do, darling. Since when? Since he bounced you on his knee and fed you ladoos. I hate ladoos. They're too sweet. You don't remember. Anyway, everyone's coming. Auntie Minnie, Lena, Pravi. Mum. I don't like the way you said that. Isn't it a little soon? It takes time to organise these things. Priests are very busy. We've only been out once. Twice, darling. What a memory you have. You saw him tonight. How was it? It was fine. Fine? It was very nice. What's the matter with you? Where did you go? Look, it doesn't matter. You've got to call off the feast. What? It's too soon. It feels weird. Like we're getting married or something. That's what an arranged marriage usually involves. But I thought this was going to be different. Look, why does everything have to be so quick? I thought it was just an innocent date. There's no such thing, darling, and I told you the priest is fully booked. So I have to marry someone I'm not sure about to fit in with some ladoo loving loony's diary? I can't cancel the feast. All your relatives are coming. And who are all these people? I don't even know them. Oh, it's not my fault. You're such an undutiful daughter. Oh, here we go. Has your period come yet? What's that got to do with it? You shouldn't make any important decisions when you're premenstrual. I work as a solicitor. I have to make important decisions every day of my life. You know you get overdramatic and stressed at that time of the month. Only because you make me. I live 5,000 miles away. How can I make you anything? I don't know. Witchcraft, maybe? Ah, so that's the tank oh, I get, It huh? always comes to that. The final card of guilt. 24 hours of torturous childbirth I'll never be forgiven for. I am not spending the rest of my life paying for something I never asked for. Anyway, I'm beginning to question that you ever gave birth to me at all. I think I'm still stuck in there. You never let me out. Well, excuse me for being your mother. <sighs> Damn. I always let her get to me. Oh, I was doing so well with my breathing. I shouldn't have answered. I'm definitely becoming a nun. Mum, I'm sorry, I shouldn't hey, it's have... me. Oh, great. Thanks. Sorry, it's just driving me crazy, this whole thing. I hope you told him the truth, because I can't take any more. Please don't kill me. Oh, 
No. I'm seriously in love. And how's that going to work when he finds out you've got a boyfriend and another identity? That's why I couldn't tell him. He already thinks I'm a little crazy. Dare I ask why? I came in disguise. What as? Mussolini? We kissed. I don't want to know. I need time. I need sanity. Look, I think he's falling too. When I'm sure, then I'll tell him. And David? And David. Well, you'd better hurry up before the men in white coats come and get me. What the hell are you playing at, Dasha? My mum just called me in tears because you called off the feast. I don't understand you. Why didn't you say anything tonight? If you don't like me, you shouldn't lead me on. I can take it. I've been there before, believe me. I thought doing things this way would be different. But you are seriously weird. I think we should forget it, don't you? I just can't take the way you are. Please, don't call me. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Message deleted. Maybe it's better that way. Did he ring? He He rang. rang. And? It's off. What's off? Everything. What? The whole thing. What did you do to him, Asha? You must have said something. How is this her fault? I mean, you said you'd tell him the truth. None of this would have happened if you had. How can it be over? I'm sorry. Why should you be sorry? Will you shut up for a minute and let Asha speak? I'll shut up for longer than a minute. I'm going. If you'd listened to me in the first place, none of this would have happened. That's rubbish. If you'd had the slightest chance of going out with him, you would happily have pretended to be from Mars. I'm not that desperate. And I am. Look, calm down. You're both upset. Forget it. I'm going. You can sort out your own mess. See it work, Asha. Don't go like this. Let her. Oh, God, I can't believe how much trouble this whole stupid scenario has caused. I'm glad it's over. How can you be so heartless? I was in love with him. You ended it on purpose, didn't you? Just because it's causing you a bit of stress. Has the whole world gone mad? It's funny how it was religion and tradition that caused this whole mess. My mum's not talking to me. Neek, my supposed best friend, hates me. And Lisa's upset, so there's tension at work. And for the first time in my life, since my mum used to drag me to these things, kicking and screeching as a child, I actually feel like coming to the temple. I even brought some flowers to offer to the gods for some peace. I just want things to be as they were. I don't know how these temples afford to feed everyone all the time. How do they cope in India? Rice? Yes, please. Naan. Please. Pretty. Boris? No, thanks. Pretty, it's you. Right. I thought I saw you earlier. I didn't know you came to the temple. Neither did I. Hard times? Something like that. Naan. Problems at home? Yep. Me too. I just needed some time out. Mm, Me too. Isn't that weird that we should come on the same night? (laughs) Weird. Why is it that seeing Raj always makes me want to soak in bubbles? I never have baths normally. I'm a shower girl. I go to the temple for peace. I find it for five minutes, then I get all stirred up again. I should have told him I wanted to be alone, but I just couldn't because it wasn't true. I wanted to be with him. It was really weird having to listen to him talk about everything that happened, pretending I didn't know. At least I didn't have to plead total ignorance because he thinks Neek or Asha told me. Oh, we had such a nice time. I felt really close to him, like I knew him. You know what I mean. He asked for my number. It's ridiculous. He probably thinks I have a boyfriend or something because I couldn't give him my home number, could I? This is where it all starts, isn't it? I gave him my work number and my mobile. Oh, no! I have to listen to my message on my mobile. I can't even remember if I say my name on it. 
But what if it says, Hi, this is Asha. Please leave your message for whoever you think I am after the beep. I can't believe I've got myself in this whole mess again. I'm prepared to forgive you and take you back as my daughter on one condition. Mum! I have lined up a number of very nice, respectable suitors. You don't have to worry about that. I do worry. When, if ever you have children, you will understand. Raj and I are back together. Really? His mother never said. We wanted to wait. You know, see how it goes before telling anyone. So I don't need any other suitors. I'm happy with the one you gave me. Are you all right? You sound funny. I'm great. Great? Yes. No PMT, suppressed anti-mother rage, thoughts of becoming gay? <laughs> I've missed you. Are you sick? I'm great. Fantastic. Fabulous. Happy. Hare Ram. She's in love. Oh, you could have told me. I've taken all this trouble to find other men for you. Is that the thanks I get for all my hard work? I thought you'd be happy. I am. Oh, good. I knew we didn't have to cancel the feast. You didn't cancel? Sharmila and I have been doing puja night and day for you. We had faith. She wanted to cancel it, but I said God is good. He will not let all that money go down the sink when there are people starving in this world. I'm calling her right now to gloat. Mum? You know what? I don't care. I don't feel angry or stressed or scared or anything. I'm free. I'm finally free. My mother doesn't freak me out anymore. Is that what happens when you reach 30? I even missed her calls. Isn't that crazy? Well, a little. Sort of, at the back of my mind. I didn't miss them that much because of Raj. Oh, it's been amazing. I just feel happy. So you've been with this guy for five weeks. He doesn't know your real name or your home phone number, but you claim to be madly in love. How long can you keep this up? I won't have to pretend anymore. The feast is still on this Sunday. He'll find out everything then. And you think he's just going to laugh it all off? If he loves me, he will. He won't know who he's been loving. He left Nick like that at the slightest sign of weirdness. What makes you think this is going to be different? We're in love. Nick thought she was in love. We've spent every moment together. We know each other. It's special. So special you can't tell him the truth. What do you do with your post? I hide it. I have to tell you something pretty. Mm? It's not easy. Do you remember I told you about the whole mess with Usher? Of course. That's how we met. I don't know what happened. She told her mum she still liked me. And she was really sorry about all the trouble she's caused. Really? She said that? And she wants to make it up to her mother by going ahead with the feast. My mum was so happy, I couldn't bear to tell her I'd met someone else. Then she guilt-tripped me on the money they'd spent and all the food and, <laughs> and all the starving people in the world. <laughs> What's so funny? She sounds just like my mum. If I don't go, I'll feel really guilty. And you'd have to live a million terrible lifetimes. As a cockroach. You better go. Aren't you jealous? No. Aren't you worried that he secretly fancies Asha and wants to see her again? I'm Asha. Why didn't he just tell his mum he found a nice Indian girl? I told you we didn't want the family pressure. Well, what family pressure do you think you're going to get after the feast? This is our first night apart. Raj had to work late. Should I be worried? Why is he going ahead with it? I mean, what if his mum arranges a marriage for him? Would he agree to that just not to upset her? What sort of a wimp is he? What am I saying? I'm jealous of myself. How can I be jealous of myself? What if he does still fancy her? And what if he's hoping they'll get together? What if he's disappointed to see me? What will I do if he can't take the fact that I've lied? Hey, 
Are you sure about this? Totally. You did me a favour, you know. That's why I'm forgiving you. Thanks. I just realised how strong and steady David was. How he's always there for me, no matter what. How he totally accepts me for who I am. The bits he knows about. You're supposed to be happy for me. I've got something to tell you. Sounds serious. You remember Raj? Who? The guy we fell out over. I'm joking. Of course I remember him. I'm not that fickle. I've sort of been seeing him. You traitor! I couldn't help it. We bumped into each other at the temple and one thing led to another. It's okay. I'm happy with Dave. I really am. I don't care about Raj. He's yours. Really? Really. <sighs> There's still a problem. Don't you feel like the tables have turned? He thinks you want the feast back on because of my mum. <laughs> It's not funny. He thinks I'm pretty. You are. He doesn't know who I am. I can't believe you haven't told him. <sighs> what am I going to do? Um, tell the truth. I can't now. He'll think I'm insane. He'll find out on the day. When is it? Sunday. I've got to be there. No way. Way? I used to come here with my mum when I was a child. I have to tell you something. I just loved looking at all the animals. I've met someone else. Pretty. She told you? Yes. I'm sorry. Don't be! I've met someone too. That's great. I just rearranged the feast for Mum's sake. That's sweet of you. My Mum hadn't cancelled it. I know. We'll get through it with a smile and go our separate ways. I have something to tell you. Okay. Um, Preeti is Asha. <laughs> Don't you mean Asha? Pretty. I'm serious. Preeti is Asha? Yes. Oh, and uh, you are the queen? You don't believe me? I don't know what you're trying to do, but it won't work. I love her. I'm not trying anything, just to tell you the truth. I'm not listening to this. Please, I'm not trying to get you back. Honestly, I want to help. I thought you were weird before, but this is seriously deranged. Have you thought of having therapy? I'm doing this for Preeti. I mean, Asha and you. I thought you were her friend. I am. If you're not interested in me, why lie to your mum? Why not just tell her you've met someone else? Why stir it all up? It doesn't make sense. Listen. No way. You're dangerous. You have to. I have to get away. I'm not crazy. I'm her friend. Leave me alone, please. If you don't listen to me, you're going to get a huge shock. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to call for help. I'm not Asha. If you weren't Preeti's friend, I'd report you. Please, go and find help. There are doctors who can help you. Wait. Look, wait. I have cards to prove my identity. Wait. I'm so sorry, Asha. I was trying to help. How did you get his number? I took it off your mobile when you went to the loo. Oh, he's right. You are certifiable. I just wanted to make things right. I'm definitely becoming a nun. Maybe he'll see the funny side. Yeah, in a hundred lifetimes. I'm waiting for Raj to come back. I haven't heard from him since he saw Neek. I've got peace and tranquility, quiet water, cleanse the soul, and loving kindness candles. Oh, I'm a nervous wreck. It's Sunday tomorrow. He's got a really low weirdness threshold. I've got a horrible feeling he's going to have us all locked up. Oh, at least I can be grateful for one thing. Whatever he thinks about it all tomorrow, whatever is going on inside him, he won't do anything to ruin the day for his mum. I have no daughter. Are you here already? Wasn't I supposed to pick you up? I'm a child, Milaz, and she's ready to kill herself. Why? You ask me why. Yeah? How did I raise such a godless child? Oh, what have I done now? You are the one who should be ashamed to live, who spits in the heart of the mother who sacrificed everything. Be direct, why don't you? And you dare ask why? Look, I'm not in the mood for this now. Or is it your hormones, darling? Shall I call you back after the menopause? Mum, I'm nervous about tomorrow. Is that all? Well, in that case, you can relax because tomorrow is cancelled. My life is cancelled. Sharmila's life is cancelled. The world has stopped. So there's no need to be nervous, darling, and you can get a good night's sleep. I guess Raj told his mum what happened. In which case, she's right. My life is over. Raj! Preeti, I'm so glad you're home. 
Just hold me and don't ask any questions. Come here. Raj is finally asleep. He was so upset. He didn't talk all night. He just held me. I couldn't bear to tell him the truth. I'm going to have to tell him tomorrow. Tea, madam. Oh, thank you, darling. How long have you been up? I like watching you sleep. My mum always brought me tea in the mornings. My dad did. You must miss him. Let's do something fun. We've got the whole day to ourselves. What about the feast? I couldn't pretend any more. Not even for mum's sake. Is Asha so awful? Let's forget it. Let's go to Paris. Get up. Wait, we need to talk. Not today. Yes, today. Do we have to? Yes. You're mean. You're not fun. Boring, boring, pretty. I'm not pretty. Yes, you are. I'm Asha. Say something. Don't look at me like that. It all went mad. Mum wanted to fix me up and I didn't want to go, so Neek, who you think is Asha, begged me to let her go because her parents are liberal and she has to experience everything in life once, so I let her go. But I begged her to tell you the truth when she met you and then I liked you and she had a boyfriend and couldn't make it. Then I thought you were her, so it didn't matter if I pretended to be pretty. And then when we got together, I thought you'd think I was a nutcase. And here we are. Say something before I kill myself. <laughs> I love you, pretty Asha. I just love you. Raj, this is my fiancé, David. Hey, you exist. Fantastic. Welcome to our feast. Asha? Who's that dishy guy by the barges? The priest? He's a thousand years old. I'm not that desperate. The young one next to him. You need glasses. That's my cousin. Oh, introduce me. Oh, no. Just when I thought we'd have peace on Earth. Did you hear our mum's arguing? Yeah, I think the whole of Wembley did. I told you everything would work out. God is good. Nonsense. You were the one ready to take cyanide. I told you to wait. <laughs> you have no faith. I knew my son and God wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Do you think they're planning the wedding? Would you mind? Less work for us. Is that a proposal? Would you mind if it was? I don't think I would. Is that a yes? Do you think it would be good karma? Most definitely yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. After all this, after all those years of fighting, she's finally got her way. Typical. Just typical. In Asher's World by Bettina Gracias, Asher was played by Archie Punjabi, Raj by Ajay Chabra, Veronique by Anushka Dasi, Mum by Lena Dingra, and Lisa by Gemma Elder. The director was David Hunter. Tomorrow's drama is called 